viewers, welcome to the new edition of Discover with Afikix TV. I am Mariama Jalo, the host. Today we are in one of the most important and interesting places in the Gambia called the Reptile Farm in Katron. So viewers, let's meet the guide man and tell us more about himself and the place. Yes. Okay, sir. Could you please tell us your name? You're welcome. Thank you. It was a surprise. Um, I'm Edmund Ansumana. I'm from Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. And um, the owner of the farm is uh, Mr. Luke. He's a hepatologist. Mm -hmm. um, he works in conjunction um, with the Gambia government on wildlife issues. But um, he focuses on three objectives. Mm -hmm. Firstly, he does research. Mm -hmm. He provides um, field data, venom samples, mm -hmm to institutions that will need it um, for scientific purpose. And the second thing he does is education, which is what um, we are really focused on because everybody believes every snake is deadly, mm -hmm. but this is not so. Most of the snakes are harmless, so we are, we are um, trying very hard to change um, that um, perception or narrative. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, some people die from snake bite mm -hmm. um, due to fear, angst, a kind of a reverse mm -hmm. placebo effect occurs. So we are trying to change their mentality. And um, school pupils and students will come every about three to four thousand for education. Mm -hmm. And then the last he does is um, wildlife preservation, but not on snakes, because um, Gambians aren't it, um, ready for snake breeding. Perhaps in the future, if the need ever arose, but now we are doing conservation on um, the bell's back hinged tortoises because they are on the brink of extinction. Later you would see them and uh, the animals are all Gambian with the exception of two. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest um, python we've got native to southern Asia and then the biggest land tortoise, the Geokilon sulcata, native to northern Senegal, arid regions, Sahara areas, and most of the animals are released after a temporary stay. Yeah, so thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Edmund for that wonderful explanation. Yes. So viewers, follow us inside my cameraman. Let's go. So okay, viewers, let's meet this guy to tell us more about the, the reptiles we have here. <laughs> What's your name? Um, hi, everyone. 13 years old and I'll be a tour guide, tour, uh, guide for the round. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. And uh, so here we have the herald snake. The snakes are back fang. They have venom, but they only use the venom for digestion. Mm -hmm. So they do not have venom on their venom glands or hollow teeth that can enable them to inject the venom on the person. Mm -hmm. So they are actually harmless, but they are also in the limit of being dangerous mm -hmm. because their teeth has been grown red teeth in front of the mouth. Mm -hmm. So in one bite in ten, there will be no venom injected, but in one bite in ten, there will be a small quantity of cytotoxin deep made by the scratch teeth. It will make a small local necrosis, but it also gets cured by itself in one or two weeks. And it is also very good for the local healers because when people get bitten by one, most of the time, they think they're going to die, so they will go there. And after one to two weeks when they're cured, they think they've been cured by the local healers whilst not. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just a normal thing. Okay. Yeah. So can I, can I touch it? Not really this one because it's kind of new and okay. we don't really allow people to touch these pieces because they can bite at any time. Okay, what's the name? Herald Snake. Huh? Herald Snake. Herald Snake. Okay. Chameleons, there's two kinds in the Gambia. There's the chameleon gracilis and the chameleon senegalensis. And some people believe chameleons have three teeth. When the first one bites you, you'll die. Mm -hmm. The second one, you'll be rich. And the third one, you'll be poor, but you'll live long. Mm -hmm. But that is not true. And what some of the Europeans believe also in a way is not better because they believe that chameleons change their colors depending on the surrounding colors. Mm -hmm. But they actually change their colors depending on the sunlight or their emotions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can hold it if you like. Okay. <laughs> You just put your hand like this, and I'll just... <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, okay, you can take it back. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Got it. To lizard, okay. yeah, and these ones are called Nile Monitor Lizard or Baran Monitor Lizard. Okay. They live like small crocodiles and they kill their prey bird, rat, snake, lizard, anything that they can catch. Mm -hmm. They are not aggressive, but if you try to corner them or you try to catch them, then they can put a fight. Mm -hmm. And also, one thing you have to be very careful of is when a female is having an egg, you go there, try to disturb it or to steal it, then it's a good mom as well that can make a real fight. Yep. So, how and do you know that it's pregnant? Well, well, actually, this one is a male for the moment, but I don't know. So where does this lake egg? In the water? Well, sometimes, no, not mainly, but this one's actually, we are not trying to reproduce them. Yeah. 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 And there are also many in the Gambia because a lot of the people refuse to hurt them, believing it brings bad luck or bad health, depending on the family name. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's a smaller one, and there's another one also in the water. Okay. So how many are there? Three. Three. Yeah, three for the moment. At the moment, look, so you can see the tail of the other one down there. Oh, yeah, that's true. So they are harmless, right? Well, yeah, but like when they bite you, you can make a small bacteria, like a small infection. Mm -hmm. But or else it cannot kill you, know? Not this species. Okay. Yeah. Here. Here we have the spitting cobras. Oh, they come down. Here. It is not very visible though, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. But spitting cobras, they are common in the Gambia, especially the houses or hotels. But don't worry, they're active at night and they'll see you before you see them, they run away from you. And some years ago, we discovered that the venom that can kill a cow or a dog in seven to eight hours, it does not work on us. Mm -hmm. But they're harmless, they're also dangerous because when they spit in your eye, in three to four minutes, you can become blind. Yeah, so like if you don't have water to wash your eyes, you can use urine to wash them off. Mm -hmm. No urine, then I think it's acceptable to pee the eye of your neighbor or friend. I think it's better than being blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do you put it here? Well, simply because you can speak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys scared? Yeah, of course. <laughs> is it safe? Uh, yeah, it is. Is it safe, Yeah. And these ones are called the rock pythons. They're common in the Gambia. And well, like when you see in the wild or anywhere else, you know that they're going to swallow you, do not try to attack. But if you try to corner them or you try to catch them, then they can put a fight. And also one thing you have to be very careful of is when a female is having an egg, you gotta try to disturb it or to steal it, then it's a good mom that can make a real fight. And also when the owner of the snake is afraid to keep the snake like a problem reaction. Mm -hmm. So the person always open the door and throw the food in. Mm -hmm. The snake will think that opening of the door means food is coming. So you might stand at the door and when you open you might jump to get the food and sometimes get you instead. And uh, yeah, so it's not really that safe to always open the door and throw the food in because like at the end, it becomes like a habit. Okay. Yeah. So, where does it lay eggs? Well, actually, this one is a male. The others, you know, most, it's just a few of our snakes that we're trying to reproduce. But, like, at the edge of the tail, like, they lay eggs from there, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And, but, like, some of our animals, we're not trying to reproduce them because there's many in the Gambia. Yeah. the 
bells backing starts on mm -hmm. simple because they can close right down here mm -hmm. and when you see it you think that it's broken but it's actually not it's normal they can close it if they like mm -hmm. and this piece is seen some years they disappearing from the gambia so my dad tried finding some mm -hmm. but he actually found only eight mm -hmm. and in those eight there were only two females and they were producing no babies but he is trying to breed more and more of them mm -hmm. yeah but it doesn't bat right uh, it doesn't bite? Well, if you put your finger in front of it, it can. It can? Yeah. yeah. So which means it's also... Do you know, like, they don't have teeth, of course, but, like, they have strong jaws, so it, they can clip you pretty good, pretty hard. Okay. So they are also poisonous? No, they don't have venom. Okay. They are not poisonous. Okay. Thank you for that wonderful explanation. We really, really enjoyed it and then we learn a lot about these reptiles. Alright guys, so that's the end of the visit. That's what we have for you guys today. It was really a pleasure having you guys around. And hopefully when you come next time, we have all the animals. And make sure to subscribe and, re and touch that notification bell. So that you'll have, you like, you'll just know when they post videos. Like this channel is literally the best. Yeah. Alright, bye.